I wasn't very impressed with the Huawei FreeBuds 3i when I reviewed them last year. But Huawei has made some big design changes, and the new Huawei FreeBuds 4i are actually pretty darn good, especially when you consider that these are going for about 108 Singapore dollars or approximately 80 US dollars. Hey guys, we have the Huawei FreeBuds 4i in this eye catching honey red colorway which is a bit bright for my taste, but if you like red or if you like a bright pop of colour in your day-to-day -day life, these are great. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. One of my favourite parts about the design is that the ear tips provided are actually solid red instead of the standard translucent white. Still not a big fan of the glossy plastic used for the case since it really is a fingerprint magnet. But I have to say that the red colour doesn't actually showcase fingerprints as much as the black would. Nice touch there. The case is a rounded oval shape, but on the back, there's a flat spot so that the case can sit nicely on surfaces instead of rocking back and forth. The flat spot kind of made me think that there could be wireless charging here, but no. Wired charging only. There's an LED light in the front for how much battery is left, charging status, and whether the earbuds are in pairing mode or not. And then, we get into the case itself. The way the earbuds sit inside the case has changed to something more similar to how AirPods or other earbuds are placed into the case, straight down instead of lying side by side. You can see the difference between these and the FreeBuds 3i. Needless to say, I much prefer the new one. The earbuds still retain the stem design, which is fine. You get basic touch controls customization for the double tap function with play pause, track skipping, and voice assistant activation. Swapping between noise cancellation and awareness modes is controlled via long presses on the stem. There's no swipe up or down volume control here though, which is a bit of a bummer because I actually really like that function on the Huawei FreeBuds Pro. There is wearing detection, which auto-pauses the music when you remove a earbud from your ear. So technically, you could leave the double tap function on either track skipping or voice assistant and just remove one earbud to pause music as and when needed. A point to take note here is that the earbuds are both glossy and have a pretty strong magnet holding them in place, so you'll definitely have to get used to how firmly they sit in the case. Sound quality is actually pretty good. Huawei's products tend to have a sort of similar tuning to them, so there's actually not that big a difference between these and the FreeBuds 3i. The mids and highs are clear and detailed, but the bass is a bit lacking. It's nice that there's sort of a consistency between Huawei's audio products, but I would really like to see Huawei improve on the bass in future iterations. The FreeBuds Pro actually had more impactful bass, so it's a bit of a shame that that wasn't present here. There's also no EQ function, which is actually pretty par for the cost, because I don't think I've ever reviewed a single Huawei audio product that has had an EQ feature. ANC works pretty well, and I did get a good seal with the ear tips provided. It's not as effective as the FreeBuds Pro, of course, since this is much more affordable, but it worked well enough to cancel out low rumbling, engine noise, and the likes. Battery life is also pretty decent, with Huawei claiming 10 hours of continuous playback with ANC turned off. I kept ANC on consistently and ended up with around 6 to 7 hours in a single charge, which is actually still pretty good. There's an additional 1.5 or so chargers in the case, but considering that most people wouldn't use these on end for 6-7 to seven hours every day, I would say that a single full charge of the case and earbuds would net you maybe around 4-5 to five days if you're using them moderately. Firmware updates and customization are all handled in the Huawei AI Live app. And while the app has actually made its way to iOS, the reviews on the App Store are appalling to say the least. So. I don't think I can recommend these for Apple users, once again. If you are using an Android phone though, I think you really should keep an eye out for these because these could be one of the best budget ANC true wireless earbuds of 2021 so far. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Huawei FreeBuds 4i. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Till the next one, see you guys!